Hello and welcome to some more information from Toolcraft Plastics. We're your full service plastic injection moulding supplier. We're based in Swindon and we're a family run business with a lifetime of experience. Today I'd like to tell you a little about Vacuum Forming. Vacuum forming or thermoforming involves a heated sheet of plastic being stretched onto or into a single surface mould. The heated plastic sheet is held against the mould by applying a vacuum between the mould surface and the sheet. The vacuum forming process. Once the correct vacuum forming tool is loaded into a vacuum forming machine, plastic formings can be produced using the following process. The vacuum forming tool is warmed. Plastic, either in a roll or in sheet form, is fed into the material carrier of the vacuum forming machine. The heaters above the plastic sheet heat the plastic material until it becomes soft. The softened sheet of heated plastic is levelled automatically using air. The vacuum forming tool is raised up to meet the bottom of the heated plastic sheet and a vacuum of air is used to pull the plastic sheet over and into the shape of the vacuum forming tool. The plastic is left to cool and harden before it is released by air and removed by hand. Other operations, for example hole punching or trimming, can then be carried out on the plastic forming if required. The vacuum forming tool after completing the design of your required plastic product, and after deciding which material you will be using to produce it, a vacuum forming tool must be made. The tool provides the shape of the plastic part that you wish to make. Unlike a hardened metal alloy plastic injection moulding tool, which can cost thousands of pounds and has a very precise design, the less precise vacuum forming tool is generally made of wood, resins or low cost aluminium and costs hundreds rather than thousands of pounds to make. Aluminium vacuum forming tools tend to last longer, process more quickly and they produce higher quality vacuum form parts than wooden vacuum forming tools. They also work better for clear or deep pocketed vacuum form parts. Wooden or resin vacuum forming tools can be made more quickly and at a lower cost than their aluminium counterparts. Designing parts for vacuum forming when designing a part to be produced using vacuum forming, it is important to take the following points into account. Vacuum forming is suited to parts that are more shallow in depth. All sections of the product must have the same wall thickness. Hole punching or creating slots are carried out as secondary operations after the main plastic forming has been produced. To enable the formings to be easily removed from the tool, it is best to allow a 5 degree to 10 degree draft angle on side walls. Avoid making very narrow slots or pockets that are deeper than their width. Avoid excessive thinning or cracking of the formings by avoiding sharp corners and by using large curves or radii. Examples of vacuum formed parts. Examples of popular vacuum formed parts include standard and adaptable anti-static and recycled multi-pocket trays for use in storing or protecting static sensitive parts, assembly work or in a Kanban work cell. Anti-static or conductive plastic trays and formings. Conductive tote boxes, custom tote box trays, tote box lids and custom tote box inserts. Custom made vacuum form trays such as medical instrument trays, dental trays, point of sale trays, packaging trays. Parts of all kinds such as dispenser covers, machine covers, Cement Moulds Engravings, logos and finishes on vacuum form parts Logos or text can be recessed or stood up on custom vacuum form parts or can be hot foil or pad printed. Finishes such as acrylic capped, brushed, carbon fibre effect, gloss, leather grain, matte, mirrored, pin seal and UV stable finishes can be added. Colouring and Materials Colouring depends on the type and size of the required vacuum form parts, but black, clear, grey and white materials are freely available and there is a range of standard colours for HIPS material. Material can be colour matched to an existing part and a variety of materials can be used including ABS, HDPE, HIPS, PETG, PC, PP, PVC and Styrolux. Plastic forming costs. Plastic formings can cost significantly more than injection mouldings because of the cost of the operator or technician who has to manually feed the plastic sheets for each forming. Vacuum forming is therefore 
only better suited for low to medium volume requirements, where the operator costs don't end up being greater than the low cost of the vacuum forming tool. Examples of other vacuum forming features. Vacuum forming can also be used to produce some custom vacuum form products with some useful and detailed features. For example, number one, nesting and stacking trays. The pockets of a sorting or transportation tray can be designed to nest inside each other, saving space and providing a close fitting lid for each product at the same time. Stacking trays can be made to securely stack on top of each other, thus protecting the components from the weight of the loaded trays placed on top. Number two, finger recesses, grip features and slots. Trays can be made with very tight fitting pockets and grips so that the content is secure. Finger recesses make it easy to get the content out while maintaining protection. Slots can be used to slide in and secure a product, for example, memory chips. Number three, embossed or engraved text or images. Text features can be very useful for brand promotion, presentation or identification, and other purposes. Number four, snapshot features. Shop-bought sandwich packs are an example of the snapshot feature. With this feature, packaging can be made to hinge and snapshot easily. Clamshell packaging is most often made in very large quantities, but Toolcraft can make small quantities for you if that is what you require. Number five, colors and effects. A range of colors is available. Vacuum form parts can also be made from plastic sheets with other coatings and finishes. Parts can be made with standard finishes like gloss and matte, but also mirror, pin seal, and even carbon fiber effect for some materials. In addition to anti-static grades and UV stabilized grades, items can be made from flock plastic to improve the appearance of your parts. Remember that if you're not able to design the required features within the possibilities of the vacuum forming process, features such as cable holes, slots, apertures, handles, and custom shaped outlines can be added to your parts by machining afterwards. Toolcraft, your single source for a complete design to manufacture service, including plastic injection mold tools and plastic injection molding. I hope this has been of interest to you. To get in touch with us for more information, including requesting your free information pack, please use the contact form on toolcraft.co.uk or call 01793 641 040 now.